kindergarten, I, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I wanted to say something like, I'm so excited to see you, but I don't see you. I want to see you. Um, I'm still sitting down a lot because I still have my foot problems. You see how bruised it is, you guys? Blech. Gross. Oh, but I'm so bummed that I can't run. What are we gonna do? Let's sing, okay? I'm gonna try and do it like, I still have my other foot to stomp. Penny's worth one, a nickel's worth five, a dime is worth 10 and a quarter's 25. Hey, honey bunny, no more money bunny. Hey, anybody, no more money bunny. Penny's worth one, a nickel's worth Five. A dime is worth ten, and a quarter is twenty-five. Hey, honey bunny, no money bunny. Hey, honey bunny, no money bunny. Awesome. Great. Let's get to our morning message. And I am getting so much faster with this, don't you guys think? I'm just like cruising through. Remember my first one of these took so long. Okay, let's read today. Hello, STEMs. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. It's guessing jar day today during Zoom. You guys, my parents have been like, what? How are these people such good guessers? You know, you can win a lot of competitions. Sometimes like, you know, I'd be at a library growing up and they have a big jar of jelly beans and you'd have to guess and you get like a big prize. So. It pays to be a good guesser. Today is going to be a great day. We love you, love Miss Revor and Mrs. Florio. Uh, uh, um. <clears throat> Let's go to our Thursday sight words. Your favorite part of the day. Attention. R A R E R A A A. And a and and at a t at you like I'm going straight at the camera right there. Ooh. And a m am and a n d and blue b l u e blue white w h i t e white want. W A N T want black B L A C K black brown B R O W N brown with W I T H with is that the last one? Uh, the T H E the and that kind of hurts was W A S was we W E we. Ding, 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 did it. Got it done, all right. We're going on to our poem. And everyone's getting out there. What's today, Thursday? Oh, friends, we already did this. I'm pretty sure yesterday there was 22 sight words. You circle them in purple. That means today you are writing your sight words, okay? Write your Sight words. Well, that's easy. Don't have to do anything there. Um, this is something that I have to show you. And I want to show you by acting it out because that's what I usually do, but I can't because of my foot. So you guys are going to have to do this on your own today. This is when we do our active slides. You guys are going to work out without me. I'm going to be your coach, okay? I'm going to be your coach. Let's get this ready and play. Okay, ready? Maybe I'll do it with my fingers. Do you think I could do it with my fingers? Look, here's my guy and he's ready to work out. That's the jumping jack. Squat. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> Mom, do you want to no, I don't think this is good for my mom either. Okay, let's just, I'll do it with you. Here we go. 
I got, I think I got my pointer. I don't. T I. Mm. Say it. Say it. Time. Great. Oh. Squat. I. Mm. Sneaky push up. Read it. Lime. D. Squat. I. Kneel. Mm. Push up. Sneaky. Read it. Dime. Mm. I. Mm. Ooh, it's n i n sneaky. Read it nine. Okay, I hope you guys are working out. Oh, that one is such a good one for oh, it's like a butt workout. That last one you see. Okay, read it with me. I mm -mm -mm, sneaky. -y. That's like a a weird one you do with your your butt. Okay, read it fine. And let's do one more. K I T Sneaky. Read it. Kite. Good working out. I hope you did it. I hope you didn't just read them with me. Because it's good to work out. I wish I could, believe me, you guys. I'm gonna crack my back because it's being weird because I've been saying all day. Okay. Let's move on. Hey friends, we have been learning about Money, 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 money. We have been. And so today we're going to learn about our new coin. Yesterday we learned about, or the day before we learned about a penny. And today we are going to learn about, sorry, I'm screen sharing all over the place. Let me make this big so everyone can see. Okay, and I'm going to show you this. Okay, hopefully everyone can see this. What is this? Do you recognize this coin? Now, what's confusing is there's one copper coin that's the little brown guy, right? That's my penny, he's worth one. But there's a lot of silver coins, friends, that are can be a little bit tricky to learn about, especially since there's a lot of old guys that kind of look the same. All these old guys kind of have ponytails. They kind of look the same, so it's kind of hard to tell. But I'm gonna show you some things um, especially when we look at them all together, we can tell the difference between them. So let me see. There we go. Let me get my purple out today, or my pink. I've been digging pink. Okay, let's look at some things. Who's this guy right here? You guys recognize him? Probably not, because I actually had to remind myself who it was. This right here is Thomas Jefferson. Say Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. He was a president. He was the third president. And he's got this nice little ponytail right here. That's what guys used to do. And he used to wear a bow in his hair too. So that's how we know Thomas Jefferson with the nickel. Now what's annoying about coins and what's annoying about teaching kindergartners about coins is guess what? They've been making new coins. So the coins sometimes look different, which is tricky, okay? But there's one thing that we know, I'm making him look very girly with this pink bow. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone over here, let's read it. It says, in God we trust. That's something we'll find on a lot of our money in America. It says, in God we trust. And over here is that special, special word, word called liberty. And that's that, that word that means freedom to have, it has the rights. Um, you're free to have your own rights. And here we have a special number and it's 1942. That's the year that the coin was made. Oh, who remembers what this means? E pluribus unum. E pluribus unum. Who remembers what that means? Do you guys remember? It means out of many, we are one. Like in kindergarten, we have a lot of friends. We're all different. We're different ages, right? We're from different places, but we all work together as a team and that's what that means that's the united states of america and this special building guess what the special building is there's a word down there do you guys see it the word right there is monticello monticello and you know if you ask any adult um hey adult what is monticello they'll be like i don't know 
But guess what? I'm going to tell you. Monticello is where Thomas Jefferson lived. He lived in this building. That's a big house, peeps. That's a really big house. I guess he had a lot of money. Mom, what did Thomas Jefferson do again? Like, he was a president. Dad would probably know. Did he invent things, or am I thinking about someone else? I'm not going to say anything, because I don't want to get it wrong, right? But this is Monticello, the place where he lived. Oh, sight word, babes. Five. Hello. It says it right there. Nickel is worth five cents. Hey, Dad, what did Thomas Jefferson do? What was he known for? The Constitution. Okay, he signed the Constitution, which doesn't really mean much to you. Anything that they would know? He didn't invent anything, right? No. Okay, and right here it says United States of America. Oh, yeah. I love the nickel. This is the nickel. Everyone say nickel is worth five. And here's my special reminder. It says five, friends. Okay. I don't know where your phone is, Mom. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at what we're doing today. It reminds me of what we did for our penny. So it shouldn't be that different to you guys. Okay. Now let me share my screen. Share screen. Share screen. And make it bigger so you guys can see. Where in the world have you been hiding? Since Oh my gosh. Okay, here it says money, the nickel. Coins. This is a reminder of all our different coins. So far, we got this one. We got the penny down. We got the nickel down. And soon we're going to know the rest of them. Now, here's the tricky part, friends. Do you see Thomas Jefferson right there with his nice little bow, his fancy little bow? This is a new picture of him. Do you guys see it? I'm going to go like this so you guys can see. There's Thomas Jefferson. And guess what? This is him from the front. Still says, in God we trust. And then here's the back. The new back looks like this. It looks kind of like they have two golf clubs. But I guess it's like something else. And people shake their hands. But most of the time I say you see this one. Okay? A nickel is five cents. So remember, equal equal means the same as if you give me five pennies i can give you a nickel because five cents is equal to five cents you could show it to me like this five cents or you can hand me one of these and that's also five cents right friends let me clear all my drawings and let's go to the next one come on baby where isn't it letting me go there we go okay Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, worth five cents. I know that. We know that. Okay, and here we go. We are going to, a nickel is, you're going to drag and drop the correct amount, and then you're going to color the front and the back, kind of make some discoveries about it. Color the nickels. This is tricky. There's a lot of coins out here, friends. you got to find Thomas Jefferson with the bow in his hair, and you need to find his fancy house called Monticello. Okay, down here it says color the amount, 20 cents. We have to count by fives today. Okay, ask a, a family member if you're having trouble counting by fives because that's what we have to do today. And that's kind of tricky, okay? Counting coins, drag and drop the color squares to cover the amount of nickels to match the amount, okay? Count the nickels, drag and drop the matching. So here's the numbers. I want you to drag and drop these numbers next to how much it's worth. Okay, here's a nickel maze. You're going from here to there. And coin sort, coin sort, pennies and nickels. That's pretty easy. Okay. And guess what? Today, during Zoom, I want you to bring a nickel. Bring a nickel. Got it? Okay. Um, that is all. I want to just see, hey friends, if you don't see this, it's okay, but I just want to see if I, if this records. Sometimes my camera's a little tricky. Oh, see, look, I drag and drop the silver. Did you guys see that? And with this, um, with this, see, yeah, I drag and drop the number. Okay. Okay, you see how I drag and drop it? Okay, so you guys are doing that. I think... 
That is all, folks. That's all I have to say. I'm about to eat dinner with my family. And um, <sighs> love you guys. I really hope my foot feels better soon because it's going to drive me nuts if I can't run around and dance with you. So send me some wishes, some hopes, some prayers. Okay. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.